Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I have the DJI Mini 3 Pro with me today and what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do a guide to return to home. Now there's a lot of things about return to home. It may seem fairly simple. You hit the button, the drone comes back to you. There's way more to it than that. So we're going to go through all the facets of it. Uh, just the uh, standard return to home where you punch the button and it uh, comes back to you. Uh, we're going to go uh, and take a look at uh, low battery return to home. In other words, the drone runs out of battery and it's far out there far enough that it knows it needs to come back and it will automatically, uh, the algorithm will tell it it's time to come home. Uh, and then also we're going to look at uh, emergency return to home where the drone loses uh, contact with the transmitter, with the ground station, and knows enough to come home. And there's a, some details to that that are important to know about too. The other thing is uh, there's differences in how far the drone away is, is away from you and how it will perform in return to home. And there are ways that you can change the return to home point. So uh, I'm out at uh, Heroes Park in a wide open area here and I think we got a pretty good place to uh, to demonstrate all these things and uh, it is a warm day it is well on its way to the high 90s Fahrenheit that would be I guess someplace in the low 30s uh, centigrade uh, so it's about I think in the high 80s right now very little wind a little bit of a breeze which is nice but not much uh, so just wanted to give you the conditions uh, so anyway, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air and uh, and we we're going to start out with What the drone does at different distances away from you when you hit that return to home button. Let's quit messing around Let's get this bird in the air Okay, I've got the drone all fired up and ready to go The first thing that we want to do is look at that safety menu. That's part of my pre-flight checklist uh, the, that uh, you know I always make sure obstacle avoidance is on I like that and I put it in in uh, bypass uh, sideways flight uh, I only disable that on very narrow circumstances that's if I want to do the perfect droney or something uh, and the radar on the map that just means it's displaying what the uh, uh, what the obstacle avoidance is seeing. Now, uh, the main thing that we're going to look at here, those max altitude, 120 meters, that's just under 400 feet, max legal, you should know that. Uh, return to home altitude, 35 meters, that's plenty for what we're uh, talking about here. Uh, so, uh, then updating the home point, we are going to look at that. That is an important one we're going to be looking at later on. But uh, for purposes of safety, compass normal, IMU normal checking to make sure that those calibrations are good. The drone is not asking for any calibrations, so we are not going to do it. Battery info, I typically take a look at that and we're good there. Uh, both cells seem to be in good shape. So uh, yeah, we're good to go. Uh, I'm going to start recording. We are in uh, 4K, 30 frames per second. Uh, that's not the most important thing that we're looking at in this uh, video, but I just wanted you to know what it was. Let's do an auto takeoff on the, uh, on the app here. So maybe I'm going to hit that button. There we go. Auto take off. Hold it down. And uh, the little drone is already. Uh, uh, and, and you'll notice there that we got that home point updated uh, dialog box on the screen. And it also told it to me. Uh, uh, it gave me an audible on that. So uh, that's important. Let's turn the drone around here so you can see it. And uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, we're going to pick the drone up a little bit and uh, we're going to show you the differences of what happens when you hit that return to home button. So if you are within five meters of your takeoff point and let's move it out, let's get it out here a ways. Y yeah, that's over five meters. That's too far. Okay, there we are about we're roughly four meters away so uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to hit the return to home button on the controller and the drone will simply land in place so you see the drone turning around and it just says landing and it's going to land now uh, realistically are you going to hit return to home within when if you're within five meters of 
your home point. I, I can't imagine why you would do that, but why do you need to know this? Uh, you need to know it because if you were out someplace and you, uh, you, you, you did that, and let's just say you had the drone over the water or something, or in a place that isn't suitable for landing, it's just gonna land. So make sure that you know if you're within five meters and you hit that return to home, or uh, say you lost signal or something and you hit uh, and, and it went into return to home, it's just gonna land. So important thing to know. Okay, let's take off again, and I'm gonna just do a manual takeoff here. And uh, what we're gonna do this time is uh, I am gonna, and let's make sure we get that, uh, I did, I'm not sure I heard that uh, home point uh, updated. So I'm gonna look, I'm gonna look on the map here. Let's, so you can tell, you can look on the map and you can see, yeah, the home point has been recorded. So that's just something that's important. You always wanna make sure that you got that home point And so that's why I did that. Uh, double check that. So anyway, let's go ahead and take off here and there's something else I want to show you. We're going to get up, make sure we're above all of the uh, trees around us and so forth. And we're going to go straight forward. And if you are within 50 meters, and there I went too far, I always overshoot, doggone it. So if you're within 50 meters of your home point, uh, as you will recall, we had our return to home height set at 35 meters. The drone uh, will simply return to home. If you're within 50 meters of your home point, the drone will return to home at its current height. So let's just hit that on the app right now, return to home. And you're gonna see it doesn't, it just turns around and come back. It doesn't raise up to that 35 meter altitude that we set and it's just coming right back to us. Uh, so that's important to know uh, and why do you need to know that? Uh, because if you have an obstacle between you and the drone and you're within 50 meters and you hit return to home, uh, you could potentially uh, run into whatever it is that you're, uh, uh, you know, whatever, whatever that obstacle is. Uh, I wouldn't depend on obstacle avoidance in that situation. So, well, it looks like we're going to get pretty close to the pad here, and the drone automatically lifts up the camera there. So we're going to let it land, and then we're going to do a tra traditional return to home and show you how that works. Okay, so we're going to do another takeoff here, manual takeoff. And it is, uh, it is giving me a takeoff, uh, but it did not tell me that it, uh, that it got its home point, but I can see on the map that it, it has it uh, recorded there. But let's just go straight up. We're gonna go up about, I don't know, whatever, 22 meters is good enough. And let's head out here out into, uh, out into the park. Again, we're at Heroes Park. So let's just head straight out here a ways. Uh, and yeah, we're gonna go, let's go, let's go out to the corner here and, uh, and uh, we can take a look at the, uh, at the Costco that's off in the corner over here. And all the, uh, all the construction that's going on over that guy. Let me, let me drop that camera down so we get that rule of thirds. And look at that nice, perfectly level horizon on a DJI drone, you gotta love it. Uh, okay, let's hit return to home, and we're at 24 meters high, so we know we set the return to home height at 35 meters, so our expectation is going to be that the drone raises to 35 meters. And uh, it turned around, and yeah, there it is. We're raising in height there, so there's 35 meters, and here it comes. Uh, and again, that return to home height, I set that depending on uh, where I'm at. If I'm up in the mountains or something, I may even set that return to height, home height above max legal because if I get behind a peak or something like that, I want the drone to have a fighting chance to get over the top of it. So this is me dropping down the, uh, the, the camera so we can take a look at how close we are. And, uh, and then we'll just let the drone, uh, we'll let the drone land here. So it looks like it's gonna be pretty darn close to the pad again. This guy's, uh, this, we've had some pretty accurate uh, landings. Now, mind you that the Mini 3 Pro does not have 
precision landing. It's not part of the package, but you can tell it's pretty damn close just as is. And down it goes, just off the pad. Okay, we are going to uh, take off again, and, uh, and I'm going to go out some uh, distance, and uh, we're going to see, and again, looks like we've got that home point there. I can see that on the map. So what I want to do this time is uh, show you what happens, uh, and there's a couple of ways we can do that, and we will probably try it in a couple of ways. What happens if you lose contact with the drone, with the, with the uh, controller, and you lose contact with the drone? Uh, so there's a couple of things that could happen. Uh, I guess we'll start off first here with, uh, uh, I'm just going to turn off the controller and of course we're going to lose screen recording and everything when we do that uh, so I just want you to be aware of that and uh, and so we'll just have the uh, what you'll see is the video off of the SD card and you'll see the drone come uh, come back to us so let's see so we're about uh, 28 meters high and uh, uh, what the, what the drone should do is it should uh, initially backtrack uh, 50 meters and in fact I'm going to drop it down just a little bit let's go down to about 25 meters high it should backtrack at that 25 meter height about 50 meters looking to regain control uh, or get, regain contact with the ground station or the transmitter uh, and if it doesn't it will then turn around rise to its return to home height and come home so uh, I am going to stop the screen recorder because I do not want that uh, file to, well, yeah, I need to stop that first. So I'm going to stop the screen recorder because we don't want that file to get corrupted. So we're going to click stop there. And then, uh, there we go. In front of the GoPro here, I'm going to show you that I am going to turn off. Let's get it in good and close. I'm going to turn off the controller right now. I'm going to turn off the controller right now. There we go. And you can see the controller is black. So the drone is out there on the other end of the park. And uh, I can't remember how long it waits. It's not very long. It'll sit there and hover for a few seconds. And then uh, probably now the drone is, is backtracking, trying to regain control. And we'll see it uh, come back here and... Uh, and come in for a landing. It'll re rise to its return to home height and then it should land right over here close to where our pad is. So the point of this demonstration is to tell you, yeah, and I hear the drone already. Yeah, it's, it's coming back to us. It didn't take us long. It's right above us here. Uh, the point that I want to make to you is it's really, really tough to lose your drone. They build a lot of intelligence and redundancy into these products uh, to make them, for lack of a better word, uh, idiot-proof. Or, you know, things happen. I mean, let's just say that you thought you had a more charge on your controller than you did, and here the drone's coming right down, man, and it's not wasting any time coming down, and it's pretty dang close to the pad. You should be able to see it on the, uh, on the action, too, now. So... Yeah, I see some sprinklers coming on. I hope they're not, uh, they won't come on where I'm at. But uh, in any case, uh, so the drone is down. Let me turn the controller back on. Okay, and I am going to stop that recording. Well, it's, it's showing that it's still recording, which is interesting, and it still has the time. Uh, so I guess there's no reason. Well, I'm going to stop it to make sure we don't have our corrupted file. So we're going to stop recording, and then we're going to start again. And I'm doing that on the controller. And, uh, and let's take off again, and we're going to see, I'm going to try and go out of range and see if we can get the same thing to happen. Now, uh, you know, going out of range is going to be a little bit uh, difficult here, but I think I can do it. I think I can go over behind the, uh, yeah, it's wanting to turn off, so we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, wait until the aircraft cools down, so... Yeah, I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna shut down the uh, everything here for just a minute. That's the first time that I have seen a high temperature uh, 
uh, warning on this guy, and it did indeed shut down. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to let the drone sit in the shade here for a minute, and we'll try again. So we've been working it pretty hard. I mean, uh, you know, we've been doing all these return to homes and messing around, and it's spent a long time sitting on the pad in the direct sun. So I guess that is understandable. Okay, I've got the drone fired back up and the screen recorder started and uh, we're starting a uh, uh, we're starting recording here uh, and let's take off again. And so let's bring this guy, bring this guy back and uh, we might as well we might as well we haven't done a droney uh, on this yet so we might as well do that. I see a bunch of kids on bikes so I don't want to go their direction. So uh, I'm gonna stand right here, drop the camera down a little bit and uh, reverse and up now. Let's get this guy going and get some air going through the drone so it stays cool. Uh, but what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna see if we can uh, uh, kind of, uh, well, I'm gonna see if I can lose contact uh, with the drone and the controller, this time by not shutting off the controller, but simply losing uh, connection with the controller. And I think I, think I can go out here uh, and we're gonna avoid where those kids are riding their bikes. We're gonna cross the street and we're gonna go out there behind the Walmart and we're gonna drop the, uh, the drone down uh, to a lower altitude and then I am going to uh, also, uh, turn away from the drone with the controller, turn directly away, and see if we can force it to lose connection. So we're going straight across, we're crossing the street perpendicular. And let me pick that camera back up. And uh, boy, I'll tell you what, the fields are sure all uh, dry and, and brown. And you know, it wasn't, it seemed like just a week ago or so, this stuff was all green. Uh, but anyway, here's where we're heading. We're going to head out here behind the Walmart. And as soon as we get back there, I'm going to drop altitude far enough that, uh, that, that we can uh, hopefully, or we're going to try at least, and OcuSync 3 is really good, so it's tough to do, but we're going to try and purposely lose connection with the drone. And I can see already I had a little, I'm getting a little uh, control signal stuff there. So may not be as, as hard as I thought. I know this is a challenging Wi-Fi uh, environment here. And in fact, I'm already seeing, yeah, weak signal adjust antenna. So this might, may not be as tough as I thought. So I am gonna drop some altitude here because we wanna show how the drone returns. Yeah, and we're, we're getting that weak signal. so. Let's go out here a ways, and yeah, I, it, it's, I'm getting blocky uh, FPV, and you guys are gonna see that on the screen recorder. And we're already in the red, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm facing directly to the drone. I'm gonna turn around the other way now and see if we can force it to lose connection. And I am actually putting the, uh, the RC, yeah, and there we did. I put the RC on the ground so that we, uh, so that it's, uh, losing uh, connection with the drone. So we did it. So we were able to force it to lose a connection. So what you should be seeing now on the recording is the drone backing up again. It'll back up 50 meters and try and get, it'll try and reconnect with the controller. So uh, I'm just, you know, I was gonna pick the controller back up, but you know what? I'm just gonna leave it. The controller is facing directly away from the drone. It's sitting on the curb over here uh, let's just see how quick it reconnects. And the, the drone, yeah, it's in return to home. I can hear it on the controller right now. And you know what? We already have reconnection, so I'm picking it back up. And you can see that it, well, it's saying 34 meters, but it went back up to that return to home height. And look at this thing, man. It's on its way back to us. So uh, that is, uh, that's the other thing that I just wanted to prove to you is that it's really tough to lose your drone. Even, even if you go out of range, the drone is gonna to wanna to come back to you. And uh, I'll be interested to look at that uh, footage off the SD card and watch it back up and try and uh, regain control. And you can see here, we got uh, this row of trees coming up. Uh, I always go a little bit higher than what I think I need to on that 35 meter, uh, you know, where I set the return home height. 
at 35 meters. So here we come. And you know, there's the drone. I'm watching it up above us there. And I watched it slow down as it slowly came to us. And like I said, it's at that 35. I dropped the camera straight down so you can see how close it gets. And you know, it's a little bit, looks like it's a little bit further off this time. We'll see, we'll see how close it gets to us. So uh, anyway, I want to demonstrate low battery return to home, but obviously we're not going to be able to do that uh, until I run this battery down, right? So uh, we'll, uh, we're going to try some other things first. We're going to show you uh, some different ways to, uh, to, do, ch to change your return to home position after it's already been set. Okay, let's take off again, and this time uh, we're, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to uh, change the return to home position uh, to uh, either where, well, first, well, let me get this straight here. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to change your return to home position to where the controller is. So let's go out here a ways. And... Uh, and I'm going to walk out away from the camera here, and uh, and we'll uh, we're going to set it to return to the controller, and I'll have the controller with me. Hey, okay, so I'm going to walk away from the camera here, and we are going to tell the drone to uh, to land where the controller is. So I'm going to walk to the other side of this far tree you see off in the distance. Okay, so I've got my other action too here, so I can show you, uh, but. Uh, we're going to go, I, you can see where I'm standing at, uh, you know, the distance I am from the other camera. We're going to click on the three dots and look at this. We're back in Go Fly. And yeah, so I don't know what that was all about, but anyway, we're going to click on that three dots again. And we're going to go down here to, uh, remember I showed you update home point? We're going to click on that arrow. And you're going to see uh, the map here, uh, and uh, you're going to see that it, the, the, the little arrowhead is highlighted right now. That's the drone itself. So it would actually change, if I told it to, it would change its home point. If I clicked OK, it would change its home point to where it's at there right now. We're going to click on the controller, and I'm going to click OK, and it's going to, well... Yep, so it told us that it updated the uh, home point. Uh, I was hoping that we would stay on the map there long enough to show it, but uh, I, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hit return to home now. And the drone is coming back, and I'm going to, well, I was trying to show you the map there, full screen. Yeah, so there's the map, full screen, so you can see the drone uh, coming back to its uh, home point. Uh, and you can see that it changed the home point to where I'm standing. And uh, I can hear the drone, it's right above me right now. So let's drop that, uh, let's go back to the camera view. Drop that gimbal down so you can see. And it should be coming down right on top of my head. Pretty close, huh? Pretty close. So I can move now because it already changed the home point. I'm going to stand in the shade here. And there is the drone uh, descending. And it's picking up the camera right now. <laughs> so it's that easy. If, and, and why are you going to do this? Let's say you're, uh, you're out hiking or you're on your mountain bike or whatever, and you need, you've got the controller with you, and you don't want the drone to land where you took off. You want it to land where you're at. That's when you would use that. So there's the drone on the ground, and you can see where we originally took off over there, back over by my Tahoe. So let's get, walk back over there, and uh, and we're going to try something else. I'm going to show you how to uh, how to change the uh, the home point location to where you want it to on the map. Okie dokie. So uh, we're going to take off again, and let me see if it'll uh, reset the home point for us.
Yeah, and you can see where it told us it updated the home points, so that's good, right? Uh, okay, so let's go fly out back over the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the park again. And again, yeah, so we're about 18 meters high. And again, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm further than 50 meters out there. Uh, let me drop that gimbal down a little bit. Uh, so you can see what's going on. And so what we're gonna do now is we wanna change uh, the location that the drone is gonna land. So uh, let me see how accurate I can get on the map here. So we're gonna go click on those three dots again and uh, update home point again. And hopefully, yeah, we're gonna see a map here soon, I'm hoping. Look at that, look at that, okay. So there it gave us the map. So, so now we can change that position. So you can see the picnic shelter, yeah, you, you can see where I'm at. And, uh, and so we are going to move that home point uh, kind of right in front of me here. I'm gonna set it right in the middle there. So it looks like the, the, uh, I moved that home point directly in front of me here. And we're gonna watch the drone pretty close when it comes back, make sure it doesn't land on top of a tree or something. Anyway, we're gonna click OK. And we should get a message, yeah, home point updated. So let's bring this guy back and, and we'll see uh, we'll see exactly where it lands. I didn't have the precision that maybe I would have otherwise liked. So I'm going to hit return to home on the controller. And I accidentally hit that button on the... Uh, I accidentally hit the button uh, that dropped the gimbal down. So the drone is coming back and we'll see how accurate I was on the map there resetting that home point. Yeah, it's, it's coming to a stop. Let's see where it's at here. Yeah, you know what? It is right about where I thought, so I think we might be okay. What I don't want it to do is land half on this curb, so we might have to stop. I think we're gonna be okay. Nah, I'm gonna hit that up button, so. I hit the pause button, so. You guys can see here, what I was afraid is, is that it would come down on this curb. So, you know, that accuracy, how accurate is gonna be, uh, but anyway. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and fly the drone back to, uh, back to the landing pad. And uh, let's try out some obstacle avoidance here. Let's see if we can uh, go in between, uh, if the A-pass will take us in between this light pole and the tree. And look at that, it does perfectly. <laughs> A-pass wasn't gonna let us run into anything. So, we are down to where I think I can demonstrate uh, uh, the uh, low battery return to home to you. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. So uh, that is the last thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, let me, uh, let me, I'm going to land the drone on the pad and we're going to take off again so that we reset that home point. So we're going to land it here. Hey, it's, it's a hot day and uh, everything overheated on me. The drone, uh, the, uh, the uh, Action 2, and this is the first time that I've seen this Action 2. And of course, it's the one, this is the one with the front display and the rear display. It's the first time that I've seen it shut down due to heat. And I don't have it set to that position where it stays on longer, but it quit recording. Uh, so, so I've got the other, uh, my second uh, action to, to, uh, to, to uh, record this. But we're gonna let things cool down here for just a second and we're gonna get the drone back up in the air because we're down low enough on battery now that I can demonstrate the low battery return to home. So uh, we'll be back up in the air in just a sec. Hey, okay, we've got one last thing to, uh, to try out here and that is uh, the low battery return to home. And yeah, it's shutting off Wi-Fi. We don't need that right now, so we're good. 
So let's go ahead and take off. And we got that home point updated uh, uh, dialogue there, so that's important. Let's just fly this baby around. I am heavy on the stick trying to run that battery down. Uh, and in fact, you know, I'm going to put it into uh, radar mode. I mean, there's some people that uh, have uh, talked about uh, some issues with, uh, with that. So anyway, looks like we've got, uh, looks like it's, everything's pointed in the directions that it uh, that it should for me now. Uh, so, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, although I will say it looks like I'm pointed directly away from the drone and I'm not, yeah, there it updated, so it's got me, yeah, it looks good to me. Yeah, it's got me pointed right at the drone. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and throw it in sport mode. That way we'll really lose up some battery here, use up some battery. So uh, let's go full stick to the other end of the park here. And the drone, uh, what it'll do was when it gets down to that algorithm, you can look at the top here, and let me click on that. You can see it tells you how long until return to home. It's, you know, telling us how many seconds and how long until forced landing, etc., and how long till the battery is depleted. Plus, you see the green and the orange and the red. So uh, when it gets to the orange, it's going to go into return to home. So let's go back to that opposite corner. And uh, I bet you we'll get that return to home uh, signal here very, very quickly because we are seriously using up some battery. And we'll turn it around one more time. Oh, yeah, look at that. There we got it. So, uh, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and still just fly the other direction and we're going to let it. Uh, yeah, and so then it went into return to home. So uh, let me uh, get out of that uh, dialog box there. And you can see the drone is rising to its return to home altitude. Uh, and it's, it's coming back to us. So uh, yeah, there we go. And you know, uh, the, the, the compass looks OK, except for I don't know that it's accurately, uh, is ac uh, you know, accurately. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. I'm right next to their home point. So, so I think we're good. Anyway, let's uh, let's drop it down here, and you can see where we're at here, and we'll see where the drone comes down. It's moving in on the landing pad right now, and look at that! Look at how close it is, boy! It looks like it's just darn near right on the pad. So I'm going to go stand out there. Uh, I'm going to risk it, get out into the sun, stand in front of the drone, and you'll see the drone. Uh, lift its camera up when it gets to a certain height here, right, right there it lifted the camera up. And uh, yeah, so it's pretty darn close to the pad. You can see that right there. And it says low battery. We're down to 15% battery, landed right next to the pad. Uh, okay, so uh, the other thing I'm going to tell you about is uh, while we're, you always want to uh, turn off recording so that you don't corrupt a video file. So I'm going to try and uh, do that, see if I can adjust things and, uh, and do that right here. So there we go, turned off recording. And uh, then the other thing that I need to do, and I'm going to shut off the drone now. Okay, the, the, uh, the drone is off. We worked that little drone awful hard today. We're going to stop the screen recording. Uh, and again, you want to remember to do that so you don't get a corrupted file and you save that screen recording. Let me finish shutting everything down and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So uh, there's a lot of aspects to return to home and there's probably even more things that I missed in this video. But I think we showed you most of the important ones. We showed you how a regular return to home works. Uh, we showed you how the distances you are away from your home point can affect return to home. And uh, we tried a, uh, a, a, the uh, emergency return to home, loss of signal return to home, two ways, by both shutting off the drone and by flying it uh, out of range. Uh, and we also then showed you the low battery return to home. So you got to see all of that. Uh, I also showed you how you can change your home point mid-flight. And uh, you can change it to the controller, which I think that's probably the one that you would find most useful. Uh, because like I said, if you're out hiking or something like that, you, you take off someplace, you don't want it to fly a mile back to where you just 
you know, where you, where it took off from and you're hiking. You want it to come back to where your controller is. So remember that and keep an eye on your battery level so that it doesn't automatically go into RTH and you end up having to, you know, hike a mile back to go retrieve your drone. Uh, but then also you can change it on the map. Now, you know, accuracy, you saw, uh, you know, I was trying to move that map around and it ended up kind of being really close to one of these curbs here. So I actually had to stop the uh, return to home. So keep that in mind. I mean, how accurate are you going to be on that map? But that is important. You know, if you were in a more open area, you know, that, that's going to work fine for you. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's it. That is your, uh, your guide to return to home on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel. Most of all, I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And yes, of course, we will see on the next one, uh, the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Yeah, just a favorite drone. See you guys later. Bye now.